what's up everybody welcome back it's been a long time since i made a video but i've been working really hard on the website so we got premium features out for the website right now that means uh basically your premium profile so you can make unlimited weapon builds advanced ttk damage per second and damage per mag charts um as well as a recoil plot generator so there's a lot of really cool stuff on there we got a bunch more things coming as well but uh, for now that's what's out you can go check it out on true game data the buttons in the top right it just says uh get premium but today we're just gonna be talking about the lapa um, which is the new SMG that came out like four or five days ago. I was busy programming, so I didn't have time to unlock it, try it out, and make a video on it. But I've done all that now. Um, I actually used it in a game this morning because I wanted to get a feel for it before I made this video. Um, I played some Iron Trials duos and dropped 20 kills in my very first game, and I hadn't even played in like a week. Um, so yes, I think the LAPA is very good. We're going to talk about the best builds for regular Warzone, the best builds for Iron Trials, and where it fits in in terms of mobility, TTK, DPS basically everything. I'm going to give you guys a very advanced dive into the gun and talk about where I think it fits best. But first, we got a little sponsored segment. Go through that and then we'll hop into the LAPA. Our sponsor for today's video is NordVPN. The first thing I want to talk about uh, is how Nord can protect you and keep you secure and safe online. So basically, uh, even if you're using incognito mode on your browser or something like that, your internet service provider can still track exactly what you're looking at and they can sell that information. Uh, NordVPN can completely stop that. So it uses an encrypted tunnel, takes you to a NordVPN server first, and then from there it connects to the internet. So none of your information is ever tracked, never logged by NordVPN or anything. So it's completely safe, secure, and anyone trying to get access to your information just will not have access to it. NordVPN will also give you access to region-locked content, like a certain TV show or movie that's only available in a certain part of the world. Or maybe there's a game that's on sale, it's only on sale in a certain part of the world. All you have to do is open NordVPN and connect to a server. So say there's a show in the UK that I want to watch, I just open up NordVPN, I zoom in, connect to the UK. Literally just takes a couple seconds to connect. I'm now connected to the United Kingdom and it looks like I'm there to the internet. And then all I had to do is refresh Netflix and I'd be able to access that TV show. So all the shows that are available to me now on here are what's available in the United Kingdom, not the United States where I live. If you're interested in getting access to all the things I just talked about, my special link provided by NordVPN is nordvpn.com slash truegamedata. I'll link that down below so you can check it out. But you get the two-year plan plus four months. Uh, extra for free with a big discount overall. Um, so be sure to check them out. And thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video, supporting True Game Data, and the YouTube channel. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about, uh, the different barrels the LAPA has. So it has some unique barrels that both increase or decrease your fire rate, as well as change the damage profiles a little bit and increase or decrease damage. Um, not a lot of other guns have things like this, so it's something important to talk about. And it really changes the gun and, and gives you different uh, different perspectives for different game modes and things like that. So I'm gonna go th through this briefly uh, because I think the advanced DTK calculator is just a better way to look at this rather than staring at the damage profile and trying to understand it. Um, so the first thing to notice, the base gun has 700 RPM, decent fire rate, not super fast, but it hits pretty hard. Um, has a really good neck multiplier, does 49 to the head and 43 to the neck in that first damage drop off out to 11 meters. Um, 33 chest, 31 stomach, 27 extremities. So you can see it has a different damage value for each part of the body. Um, and that is why I think it's much better to just use the new advanced TTK calculator on true game data to spit out a real TTK given uh, shot location percentages. Because if you just look at this and you try to understand like individual shot locations, that's really not going to give you a real TTK that you're ever going to have. Um, you can't say, oh, if I get two neck shots and the rest chest shots, then my TTK goes down. Well, maybe that's true, but that's just not a situation that's ever, ever going to happen. I like doing that for guns that are like five, five, six damage profiles. Um, where the body across the whole body does the same damage and then you can say oh two headshots with the rest of the shots on the body anywhere means that that reduces your TTK that I think is an important thing to do and can give you new good information but doing it with a gun like this that has a really complicated uh, complex damage profile I just don't think that's really a viable thing to do and I don't think it I think if anything it could even like misinform people and uh, just you know put bad information out there so I don't like to do that I like to just use the advanced TTK calculator give it shot location percentages and it counts for everything for my, for me. So I don't have to do any of that thought. Uh, but anyway, looking at the extended barrel here, uh, basically reduces the damage by one in most places. So this on the right is how much different the damage profile is for the barrel compared to the base damage profile. Um, so the extended barrel increases your RPM by 50. It's like 8%, 7%, and then reduces the actual damage values by about one across the board. And then I highlighted in red uh, which one of these would actually increase the shots to kill. So uh, chest and extremities in the second damage range and then neck, chest, stomach, extremities in the third damage range increase that shots to kill by one at 250 health. We're also gonna talk about iron trials health. And again, I don't really like doing this. I'm just doing this 
so you guys can see it, but we're just going to use the advanced DTK calculator and see how this gun fits in, uh, given good shot location percentages. The uh, rifle barrel increases your RPM by like 3%-ish, um, so you get better RPM, and it actually hits harder, so you can see over here, the damage values are all higher for the rifle barrel, so you shoot faster and hit harder. It's a good, good, good thing. Um, and then I highlighted in green the shot locations that have their, their shots to kill reduced. So head, stomach, extremities in the first damage range, chest in the second, and head in the third. Again, I don't like that. We're just going to look at the TTK chart. Um, but this just gives you an idea that it actually is going to uh, help those shots to kill. And then the BR Compact is the last barrel. Um, it actually reduces your RPM by a little bit, but increases your damage even more than the rifled barrel. Um, so in this case, a lot of the different shot locations have a reduction in shots to kill. So again... We're just going to look at the advanced TTK calculator. All right, so I've built the LAPA with those three barrels. I'm not even going to look at the base gun because I really think these barrels are just a good thing. If anything, the extended barrel is just straight up a positive. Gives you a faster fire rate and doesn't change those shots to kill in the first damage range. Um, the rifled barrel reduces your damage range by quite a bit, but um, does give you better shots to kill and a better fire rate. So I think you're pretty much going to be using one of these barrels almost all the time. So I didn't even put the base gun on here, but I added the PPSH and the OTS because I want to have something to compare to. So the OTS is basically what I would consider the best um, aggressive SMG for just normal uh, normal BR, not Iron Trials. And then the PPSH is more of a long range SMG, good sniper support. Um, it's also really good for Iron Trials because it has that really big 71 round mag. Um, so those are kind of my two favorite SMGs right now. And that's why I put them on here to compare. So just looking at this right off the bat, this is just chest shots and this really demonstrates um, why I like the advanced DTK calculator so much. If you just look at chest shots, which is what True Game Data defaults to, and you put that BR compact barrel on there, you're going to see that it kills faster than the OTS. The OTS is one of the fastest killing SMGs in the game, uh, and it kills faster than the OTS to the chest with the LAPA with the BR compact barrel. But as soon as you put it on combination shot location, you're going to see that completely change. So now the OTS, using these shot location percentages, these are just standard pretty good numbers that I've always used, 11% head, 7% neck, 33% chest, 15% stomach, 35% extremities. That's what it defaults to. You can change it up and do whatever you want on here, but it's always going to be a guess. Unfortunately, we don't have these actual numbers from the API or anything. Um, so you can tweak this however you want when you're subscribed and, and use this calculator yourself. Um, but you can see here, now the OTS takes over, followed by the BR compact, followed by the extended barrel, uh, followed by the rifled barrel, and then the PPSH is quite a bit slower. Um, something worth noting, even though... The lava has two damage drop-offs. You can see that out at longer ranges, this magenta line is the rifled barrel. Um, it actually it actually still kills faster than the PPSH out of range. So it kills faster up close. PPSH wins for about three meters, two and a half meters. And then after that, the uh, rifled barrel takes back over. So really, overall, um, the gun's looking pretty good just based on the stats. Um, obviously, something else that's really important for and SMG is mobility. So if we go look at movement, um, these are just base stats again with the barrels on there. So the LAPA has the fastest movement speed in the game. So again, looking really good there. Has the fastest ADS movement speed in the game. And those translate to sprint speed and strafe speed and things like that. So that's what we really can just look at those two and know um, where a gun stands in terms of mobility. Uh, as far as damage per mag, I don't actually have the mags up on the website yet. Um, but I can tell you that based on the summary stats where... Uh, you can look at RPM and think about mag size. Basically, the LAP has a 50-round mag. The PPSH has a 71-round mag. Um, but the PPSH shoots a lot faster. So really, the LAP with a 50-round mag, it's about 90% of the damage per mag of a PPSH with a 71-round drum. So that's that's a lot. I mean, the PPSH has a massive amount of damage per mag. So really, um, I'm thinking the LAP is looking pretty good for uh, Iron Trials. It's got really, really good TTKs and DPS. Um, but let's go look at Iron Trials. So this was 250 health, so this was regular Warzone uh, TTKs. The BR Compact there was winning in this mode, but then as soon as you switch the health to 400, you're going to see something completely different. So when you switch it to 400, all of a sudden the rifled barrel takes over with these shot location percentages, which is really interesting. Again, different health values can result in different TTKs, and that is why all of a sudden in Iron Trials, the rifled barrel takes over in that first damage drop-off, and... It gets relatively close to the OTS and quite a bit faster than the two other barrels. So I definitely think for Iron Trials, you should use the rifled barrel. We'll go over builds for this at the end, but I, I just wanted to show that here. That's why I think that um, overall, very good gun. I think it's I think it's absolutely meta for uh, Iron Trials, and it kind of fits in an interesting spot for a regular game, but it's, it's close enough that I would say it's a top-tier gun.
So really, if you just want a one chart, gives you the most information you can have, combination shot location DPS is the best thing to look at. That will just tell you no matter what health value the enemy has, roughly how the gun's gonna perform. So looking at this, this makes perfect sense. The rifled barrel is the second fastest DPS behind the OTS. And then the BR compact barrel is a little bit slower DPS. And then the extended barrel is a little bit slower again, but has more damage range. Uh, out at range, the PPSH has the best damage per second uh, of all of these, followed by the rifled barrel, followed by the BR compact, followed by the extended. So if you just want to look at one chart and immediately know roughly how a gun's going to perform, combination shot location uh, with roughly these percentages and DPS is, is, in my opinion, the way to go because it tells you just approximately what a gun's going to do at any given health value, which is probably really common. Like anytime you're shooting at anyone in Verdance that has any health damage done to them. So if your teammate shot them, if they took three damage from a grenade or something, all of a sudden looking at TTKs just gets thrown out the window because um, TTKs can change a lot based on how much health someone has. So really, I think DPS is one of the best ways to, to go when you're thinking about how a gun performs. All right, so recommended builds time. Um, for regular Warzone, not Iron Trials, where people have 250 health, uh, the BR Compact results in very good TTKs up close. Um, so this is going to be a pretty standard build. The one thing is the iron sights are terrible on this gun, so you're going to want to use the Microflex LED. Unfortunately, that takes up a slot. But normally when we have that good iron sights, people just use that slot to get better mobility. And this already has fantastic mobility, so it's not that big of a deal that we have to use an optic for this thing. But anyway, Agency Suppressor, of course, Bullet Velocity Damage Range, BR Compact, again, because this gives you um, pretty much the best effective TTKs in that first damage range, which is where you're trying to use this. This is going to need to be a pretty in-your-face kind of gun. Pair it with a main AR, like an EM2, C58, or, or an LMG, or something like that. Overall, uh, BR Compact Barrel is probably going to be the best for that game mode. Um, Tiger Team Spotlight, if you want better mobility. Um, you could also use um, one of the combat stocks, so the SAS Combat Stock, if you want the best ADS movement speed. Uh, again, that's going to stack with firing movement speed and ADS firing movement speed. It's going to hurt your, your hip fire a little bit, um, but it's kind of worth it. If you want better sprint to fire times, Raider Stock, obviously I don't have it unlocked yet. But if you just want straight up mobility in all in all areas, Tiger Team Spotlight is probably the way to go. Um, another good, good option would actually be to use the Ember Sighting Point. Again, I don't have that unlocked yet, but um, I think that's kind of a, a slept on attachment. It increases your damage range by about 11%, which is pretty dramatic. I mean, that's like the, more than the Agency Suppressor. So if you stack those two together, even though the BR Compact hurts that damage range by a bunch, you're going to get all of that back plus a little bit more. So you're going to get about 11 meters of damage range in that first drop off uh, with the BR Compact barrel and have really, really good TTKs for a uh, regular 250 health war zone. Um, if you're playing Iron Trials, basically the only thing I'd swap out for this is go to the Rifled Barrel because the Rifled Barrel at, two, at 400 health has much better TTKs. So um, overall, everything I just said holds true again. Um, 50 round mag, just, you know, no brainer. You don't want to hurt your ADS times too much by using the last mag. So 50 round mag, fourth mag, pretty much the same recommendation for all guns now that they've fixed them. There's no bugged mags anymore as far as I'm aware. Um, so you pretty much always want to use the fourth mag now. Overall, I think it's a great gun. I think it fits in nicely. It's not, it's not OP, I don't think. I need to try it out as sniper support because the recoil is pretty controllable. Um, so with an optic and maybe a field agent grip, and maybe like the uh, SAS combat stock with a rifled barrel. I think it could be a decent sniper support. I need to try it out. Again, I like to actually try things before I tell you they're good or not. Which is why it took me so long to make this video. Because I just didn't have time. I wanted to try it out and use it in Warzone. And now I've gotten to do that. And I actually have all the stats. And I got to use it. So I can tell you that I think it's a very good gun. And tell you exactly how to build it. Um, but yeah, I don't have anything else to talk about in this video. Just wanted to give you a base look at this gun as an SMG. I'll look at it as a sniper support in the next few days. And see how it fits in there. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.